This is Derek and Amy, and I'm going to let you guys introduce all your, your boys, your, your crew here. Well, uh, this is Cooper. He's 12. Miles is 10. And this is Owen, uh, who is five years old. I, I get, and I get to coach this guy right here in, in basketball. Hopefully we're going to play uh, this fall, but we just, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> uh, so I get called Pastor Brad and Coach Brad. It's, it's awesome. So... Yeah, so <laughs> talk to us about, uh, first of all, how long you guys have been at CORE and, and what this church has meant to you guys? Well, we moved to the area uh, in the summer of 2018 and started the process of searching for churches all that summer and ended up visiting CORE. I, I think we had come to a point where we were like, I don't know if there's any more churches around here. And uh, yeah. visited. Now that's saying a lot. You visited. <laughs> we did. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe any more that we were willing to go to. <laughs> but uh, uh, we visited CORE, and um, it just felt very welcoming, uh, very much a family atmosphere. And since we live away from our families, um, it, the church family really has been our family. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, it just meant a lot the next time we came in. Um, I was greeted, and my name was remembered, you know. And so uh, that's the family atmosphere and just a real uh, connection to people mm. has meant a lot. Yeah. How about you, Amy? Yeah. And I mean, we've had people pray with us too, like to come in and like have people say, how you doing? And when you express things, they like stop and pray with you in the moment. And that's been really special yeah. to mm -hmm. us. And yep. also to find a place where we can jump in and serve and bless people that way. And also be um, blessed with people that serve. I, I love what you're talking about that those are two key things is we want people to feel not just welcome, but feel home. Like, mm -hmm. cause you said, you don't have family around here, that this is family and church is supposed to be a family. And then when you said about prayer, it's so true. Cause everything, prayer is foundational mm -hmm. to everything. So the one thing you don't want to do here is like, give a prayer, <laughs> give your prayer request to somebody cause they will stop and pray for you <laughs> yes. right then. So you just, you just better be ready for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so 2020, everybody's been upside down. Uh, what has God been doing in you and your family? How's he been speaking to you during all this craziness? Yeah, well, with definitely extra time at home, I think he's teaching us to live at peace with one another. Our house is not quiet ever, but um, it's- <laughs> This is the quietest I've ever seen. Yes, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, and it has been. We've, we've actually enjoyed the time though to be um, kind of restful as a family and not have a lot going on and just spend time together and, um, not, it has not all been peaceful, but we've we've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, I, I think I've kind of used this time to uh, try to be more disciplined um, in my life. Just whether it's you know waking up early or or in my work, um, but I've I've really started to focus on uh, spending my time wisely and just being more. It takes a lot of discipline to work from home. With yeah. the family right? I can't sure. do it. I can't do it. No, I, I, my hat's off to you, man. But that, you know what? The reason I ask that question is because as followers of Jesus, so many people in 2020 right now are just so discouraged, so down. It's they're like, they want the year over with. But what I hear you guys saying is you've allowed God to reveal things, to show you the good and to press into the good and to use the season to grow, which is what this is all about. You guys are awesome. Thanks. And hopefully I'll be seeing you on the court in a couple of months. We're hoping, we're <laughs> yeah. hoping. Yep.